A lot of people on YouTube seem to be busy with drama. I, for one, am all for valid criticism. I am not for petty drama and instigating drama. As someone who has been around YouTube since 2006, I remember the glory days of YouTube atheism, where the Rational Response Squad, well-known atheist comedian Pat Cundell, and other users were uniting atheists against the ignorance of religion. There was no infighting drama. Whenever there was a conflict between people, there would be valid criticism involved. Take for instance someone like the Amazing Atheist. Yes, he was known for making ponage videos against users. However, TJ was a skilled YouTube user who not only pwned others, but was to A. Make valid criticism of other people, and B. Made an attempt to have communication with the people he was pwning. Case in point, TJ's videos towards how the world works, where he was at least trying to have a dialogue with Lee Dorn. Thunderfoot is another user who is known for addressing the claims of creationists and debunking them, along with users such as Aaron Ra, Potholder54, CDK007, and Don Exodus2, among other users. Thunderfoot was part of a group of atheists who were trying to unite the so-called atheist community through science, education, and reason logic. He has also joined in to critique the claims of religions such as Catholicism and Islam, which we all know is a low bar for humanity and free speech. To date, Thunderfoot is very significant among the YouTube atheist community, and we should be thankful for his presence. However, then you have Richard Coughlin, a comedian like Pat Cundell who I like to think I get along with in the sense that I can get along with anyone here on YouTube, although I have found him to be humorous at times, especially during the year 2009 before he started making videos directed at Pat Cundell and Thunderfoot, his approach and his method of trying to get responses from other users, including Thunderfoot, have been... Well, I don't like Thunderfoot, this is no fucking, there's no real fucking secret there. A concern for me personally. Take for instance a response he did to Pat Cundell on Block TV. I'd like to clear up something once and for all if I... You're a cunt? Is that what you're gonna say? You're an old, racist little fucking cunt? I have taken exception to some of my opinions. How dare you! How dare you take exception to your opinions! Bastards! Now, I am all for criticism. However, I like to ask whether this is a rational approach to responding to videos. Personally, I understand that Coughlin is angry, but this approach is a reason why people like Thunderfoot have a problem with Coughlin 616. His approach is not the most rational way of dialogue on YouTube. Where Thunderfoot calmly addresses his critics on forums such as YouTube and Block TV multiple times, Coughlin has a rather unique way of expressing his opinions. Can I quote you now and refer to you in the way that you did to Viacom when they DMCA'd you? Thunderfoot, you gutless coward! I thought you wanted to give me a wide berth, Thunderfoot. Isn't that interesting? That, you know, I mean, I thought I was this insane histrionic personality disorder fucking mental case who you wanted to give a wide berth to because you know, I mean, isn't it funny, Thunderfoot, that you are this guy who, in one video, this is what I meant when I accused you of macho posturing, because in one video, you'll, you'll make these videos and you go, I've stared Islam in the face and I've spat in it, twisted its nipples and kicked it in the fucking happy sacks and laughed. Ha <laughs> ha, do your worst, Muslims. This is the Prophet Muhammad as a fucking, as a wanking hand. And then the next video, you're like, oh, these, these users are making videos about these haters. These people are doing this nasty and they don't like it. I mean, for fuck's sake, it's pathetic. Thunderfoot, I, I don't want to hear you ever criticizing Muslims for saying they don't speak out against their own. They never call out others, even though they fucking do, as I've explained in other videos. When you're sat there now complaining and whining again that atheists have made complaints against you. I should care about the house of atheism? Who the fu- why should- why should you get to say anything you want and no one criticize you, but we get- to, we- when we say what we think, you get to- you have to sit there and tell us to shut up. Edit it in. Is that what all that money is going towards, is it Thunderfoot? All those thousands of pounds you've received, that video was paid for by your viewers, that's really- yeah, right. Rather than invest the money and make a longer video going through his actual points in the video, you just take out those little bits and put them... Okay, 
Fair enough. Hope you, if you gave money to Thunderfoot, I hope you have. Let's just re not forget. Yes, whilst yes, it's great. Thunderfoot and PCS are back. Whilst that's great, let's not forget. When it comes to debate, I'm not saying they're both the same, but I'm saying when it comes to their inconsistencies, they're both as bad as each other. Thunderfoot made another video to do with Muslims and Islam, and apparently everyone's got it safely. He's the same guy who wrote the article that you linked in your fucking Real Threat to Islam video. Eat my stats. And to use a Poe, or a fake person, someone who was known to be fake, someone who you could find out was fake quite easily, and then to sit there and go, well, it doesn't matter. Well, because people believe that anyway. Wait, well, don't you use one of those people? You might as well make video responses to Edward Curran or Jesus File. I would like, if you're going to make your podcast and you're going to put your opinion forward about me, and I'll tell you this, it doesn't even have to be an interview on your sodding podcast, right? Just to sort of squash that. Right? I will talk to you one on one. And I'm making this video because I don't just want to send you a PM because I know you can ignore that. You can just ignore this video, but then everyone will know that at least I put the challenge out there, right? I will defend and and uh, back up any and everything I've said, and if all I'm doing it for is for attention, then my points clearly have no validity, my arguments clearly are empty, and you should have no problem as a thinking atheist in just in squashing my points right down there and then, should you? Because if that's your line on this, but please put the word non in front of your name, thinking atheist. Where the fuck were you? You were nowhere! I make one fucking joke about a Muslim and you come fucking crying and whining and call me a right-wing pseudo-intellectual. Well, fuck you, Moon Salam, you little cunt! To me, it is not a rational approach to yell at your opposition and expect a response. Yes, there may be valid points within videos, but rhetoric and approach are quintessential in debate and discussion. If Thunderfoot and Coughlin 616 were to ever have a live debate, and Coughlin approached Thunderfoot in this matter, he would come across as irrational to the people witnessing this debate. When you have things like Draw Thunderfoot Day, the problem with that I have is that it makes it all about him. Don't make this about him. But do you not like the fact I make all these images of you looking, these funny images there that, that I make? I make all these videos for these funny images of you, these drawing like making you look like a terrorist. Do you not like that? Does that get on your nerves a lot, does it? However, if there is one point Coughlin 616 should take from Thunderfoot, it is this. Religion needs to be scrutinized in every way possible. Rationality does not require the existence of religion. However, religion exists through the primitive minds terrorizing people for the last hundreds of years. As long as religion exists, the pendulum will always swing to irrationality. From what I've seen from videos on YouTube, Thunderfoot and Pat Kandel have tried to unite atheists against the common enemy, the irrationality of religion. Atheists on YouTube should not be divided and fight against each other. You may disagree with Thunderfoot and Pat Kandel all you want, but this approach is just not the rational way to approach dialogue. I see atheists go around quoting statistics about how studies have shown that atheists are more intelligent than non-atheists or religious people, and that this is automatically means that they personally should be considered more intelligent than any religious person. Thank you all very much for watching, and if you disagree with me, I invite your reply.